Listen, buddy. I... I don't know... what Who leads a battle with that? Who... Who... Who leads with that? Like... Why is that your opening line? Hey, welcome back to Tear Rain Saga. Last time... I'll be blunt. I'm afraid. Because I don't know... There's gotta be a trick to this guy. But so far, the only trick I can think of... Is just killing him. And I don't think that's gonna work. Especially not when Vega only has a 29% chance to do that. Alright. With the power of charm... Oh my god. What? How powerful is this woman's charm? What? Uh, okay, okay, okay. He needs to hit a... 64. Oh, I was using the Shram and not the... How is this person's charm so strong? Well, when you use a more accurate sword, your attacks are more accurate. Shoot, alright. I think that's what I have to try to do. Like, I can't think of anything else that'll do the trick. I mean, I guess I could hit with Bren Thunder. No, his de his revasion is absurd. What's the secret here? Oh yeah, don't forget the free wind defense. All right, I can try it. I'm not gonna have a better chance than with Vega. It's worth a try. Yep. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Like, I have a hostage that has to play into this somehow. Vega is dead. Like, can I really not? Is there really no way to talk to him and let him know that I have a hostage? That can't be right. There's gotta be something that I'm not understanding. Alright, well... Shoot. Shoot! Alright. So, in my attempts to figure out how to deal with him, I figured out that it yeah, gotta talk to Hagar of Mints, which... Makes sense, given how he's from Canaan. So, probably should have been able to figure that one out. Hey, it's Hagar! They sent you out on the front lines, huh? Is that you, bro? Everyone else said you died in battle, but you're still alive and kicking. What are you doing around here? I deserted back in Sine, and now that I'm doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that, nothing too extraordinary. But forget about me, Hagar. Look at you! Told you they'd make a sol told you they'd make a soldier out of you. You can't make a living by chasing skirts forever, you degenerate. That's rich coming from you, bro. Everyone knows we're the biggest lady killer in the entire Black Knights. <laughs> Wait, hold on a sec. If you're a deserter, I can't be seen talking with you. Ah, oh, crap. What if someone already saw? You can't drag me into this, bro. I'll be executed for sure now. You'll be fine, Hagar. But if you're so worried, why not join us? We've got pretty ladies everywhere. Hmm. Thanks, bro. I think I'll take you up on that. Alright. So... This is what I think I need to do. Pray. That, that's the main thing. He's just got so much! Alright. So... Here's the thing. I need... I think Swordbreaker is the way to go. I think that's going to be what yields my greatest chance of success. And even then, 
It's just a chance. So... I think I gotta pray... That Zeno can do something. The other thing is to maybe break his magical shield, but I don't foresee myself being able to do that. I think my only option is to break all of his swords. Yikes. Alright. Also, we gotta worry about Bilford. He's not gonna last forever down there. Despite my damnedest efforts. This map is just rough. It's like really hard. Literally, he'd be so much tankier if he got a single point of defense. And the only time he got that was in the level up I had to overdo because I died. Or maybe he doesn't need that at all. And he'll just continue to dodge. Alright. Well. Things aren't looking good for old Billy Boy. That being said. I think I want to use... I don't want to use another save staff. I've used like four on this chapter. Use it or lose it, I guess. Alright. Here we go. Staff. Save. My god. Well, I was breezing through all the Holmes maps. It's only right that, uh... That this is difficult. Alright, here we go. When an item trade over... The Sword Breaker? And then a Miracle Charm. Alright. What are your odds to even hit him? Oh, your attack speed is 17 either way, though. But the Wonder Gust, you have a high chance to hit? Mayhaps Marouge is the answer. The problem is, will he live? 20, he's got 20 health. Let's see, that is... He'll have 32 attack. Let's see, with 32 attack, minus 8 defense, that's 24. He needs to be healed first. Alright. Let's try it. Sure. And then we'll just heal him up with, um... Yeah. I, thank you, yeah, yeah, I knew that. I knew, I, I knew all of this. Alright. So, Marouge, that's one damage. It's not much, but I thought, wait, hang on, I must have miscounted again. It didn't even take down his magic shield. So if I hit him with the wind attack, even if, even if it actually hits him, it doesn't take away from his magic shield. Oh my god, okay. We will end the turn. Ernst will just heal that back up. Great! Alright. Oh, and Bilfred's gonna get hit by everything. Literally, if you just get a single point of defense from this level up, he's actually in real danger of dying right now, unless he gets a point of defense. Please. Alright. Oh, thank God for Pavice. Alright. Here we go again. Everything's attacking him. Let's see. He can tank six more hits and he has eight more attacks coming at him. He could very real... Oh no, hang on, that's the last one. Never mind, I miscounted again. Alright, well. 32 minus 8, yup. Alright, well. Thank goodness he activated that. 
on an attack that didn't matter. All right. His attack speed is low. There we go. Why did he only take one damage last time? What? All right. Well, whatever. Let's just start killing him. Now. Um. Attack. Alright. This will make it so that the javelin is all he has. Come on, Zeno. Hit with this, please. Alright. He hit him for no damage, but... Wait, what? Oh, it has to be a quick, doesn't it? I thought it... I don't know why I thought it would do that to his entire inventory, even though it clearly wouldn't. Alright, that was me being an idiot. That was... That was me being an idiot. Alright, well, with the Killer Lance, you'll do no damage, so I'm gonna prioritize something with a high hit chance. The Killing Edge? You don't have Kanto, do you? You don't. I'm not gonna act like this wasn't me being an idiot. Alright, well, you can't even double with this. Alright, main gouge. Oh my god, I made a mistake. I made a big mistake. Alright, let's take a look here. I need to break down that shield. It only has one more charge left, though. Let's see. 21, 32, doubles. He won't actually kill. I'll say this is worth the risk. I'll say this is worth the risk. There we go. Okay. That's fine. It's, it's not fine, but... All right. Vega. With the Shram, how likely are you to... He has Nile. Wait a minute. That's right. I won't be able to activate, um... Think, 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 think. I won't be able to activate... Fucking, uh... Draco against him. Christ, this guy is unstoppable! Oh boy, get a level up that's not gonna matter in a few moments. Attack. The S stock? The effective damage isn't even enough. I, I need. I, I need. I don't know why I thought the Sword Breaker. Bro when, when I saw it said all, but that's not what it meant. Alright. Shram. Critim, maybe? I think that's my only chance at this, and even then, it's slim. Christ, this guy's damage. Like, what am I supposed to do here? Killing Edge, 22, 44. Still won't kill. But it'll, it'll be close. Let's see what this does. You'll have to crit for me, Rudin. Please. That's just insulting! No, not yet. <coughs> I cannot <coughs> let you pass for Prince Barker. Oh, oh, for Prince Julius, for the myriad souls of fallen soldiers. Can we speed up your dying a bit? I, 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 I mean, you're. And for the future of Canaan, fight, fight on Ernst. Hear me, Roselian knights. 
I am the sworn I am the sword of Canaan, and I shall never fall. I'm, I'm pretty sure you just did. Speed's fine. What? Is he gonna live? What happened, Yugen? Why is everyone backing away? It appears the enemy commander is personally guarding the gate. That man fights like a demon. Everyone is too scared to get near him. We can't let this continue. We have to break through. I will face the enemy commander myself. I shall accompany you, my lord. Oh, this is interesting. This is interesting. Wait, is he... dead? How extraordinary! To think that he would die standing, to block our advance even in death. I should expect no less of Kanan's best. General Ernst, though you are our enemy, you are truly formidable. Oh my god, it's like Ragnarok and... I can't... It's a currently printing manga, so I can't say it. But there's a character in it who dies while punching and standing still, and it's the hypest shit. It's no wonder that the enemy soldiers had such an overwhelming motivation, with a general such as he giving orders. Possibly. Though that may not be the only reason. I cannot explain why, but I feel that we are not compre comprehending the full picture. Let's press onward, Yugen. Save the philosophizing... Philosophize? I hate that word. Until after we've taken Reed Palace back. Right behind you, my lord. Oh. Uh. You know what? Maybe Bilford will kill this tank with some wrath crits. Well, he hit it with wrath. That made me kind of happy. Well. That was a tough chapter. I don't dislike it. But it was tough. Lord Rudin, a knight on a pegasus, is flying towards our position. No doubt a messenger from Lady Clerix. I see. I certainly hope it's not bad news. Whee! But I'm sad. Ernst was cool. You are Lord Rudin of Roselia, correct? Indeed I am. I don't believe we've met. I'm Verna. I think you've already met one of my sisters, Martell. I see! So you're one of Lady Clarice's daughters, too. Yes, though I'm not here on my mother's behalf today. I'm here as a messenger from the army of the Free Canaan. The Free Canaan? Yes. It's an anti-imperial faction led by Prince Senet of Canaan. We've gained much support from soldiers and citizens still loyal to the old Canaan, and we've already overtaken all of Northern Zoa. Hold on a moment. A Prince of Canaan? Canaan only has three princes. Arlis, Barker, and Julius. Prince Senate is the son of Prince Arlis, and being the son of the late Crown Prince, he is first in line for the throne. I knew Prince Arlis had two children, but soon after the second was born, their mother Selene was brutally murdered. They never did find the young children, so I assumed it was they were dead too. You can remember, if you don't see the body, they're never dead. And even when you do see the body, they tend to still be alive somehow. Never count anyone for dead and they're in a fantasy land. But to think that the prince lives! He was rescued by the daughter of Ilya's Lord Temujin and raised in her care. My grandfather Octavius too, as well as Sage Eisenbach and others, have watched over Prince Senate's safety in secret. I see. Since he was presumed dead, it'd be a wonder I'd it'd be no wonder I'd never heard of him. So now he's returning to restore the old Canaan? Yes. His father had overwhelming support from the Canaan people in his day. After his tragic death at Nolzaria, he became a symbol of hope and freedom to the people of Canaan, rivaling even Carluan the Great. Once all of Canaan knows that Arlis' son has come to restore the kingdom, there will be no stopping his return. I can imagine. I understand the situation now. I assume that since you are here, Prince Senate has a message for me then. The prince wants to make an official declaration of, print of peace with Reeve. Let us finish what our fathers could not. Those were his words. The failed Treaty of Nolzaria. The events of two years ago have weighed heavily on Prince Senate's mind. Knowing how much his father meant to the people of Canaan, he has made it his duty to live up to his father's name. I see. That's quite the legacy to be left with. Indeed. 
It is quite the burden he has taken upon himself. The prince wants to hold a ceremony where this tragedy began, at Nolzaria. Is this acceptable to you, Lord Runin? Nolzaria. It may be ruins now, but there's no place that I'd rather end this war. The thing is, it would be pointless to hold the meeting in the current situation. I have no objections to his friendship, but until the two of us actually have the power to declare peace between Reeve and Kanan, it could only be a symbolic gesture. What of Prince Barker and Prince Julius? What do they think of this plan? We have sent word to their highnesses asking for their support, but we have yet to hear back from them. Princess Rashea, one of our compatriots, believes they will see reason, but there is still room for doubt. No, Julius and Barker are cool! It seems Senate's only choice may be to seize the Empire by force. Unfortunately, yes. Well, assuming the princes do not lend you their aid, how long will it take for Senate to capture the Canaan Hall? If things continue as they have been, we believe we'll be able to take the capital within six weeks. Additionally, Lord Runin, Prince Sinet has asked that, in the interest of preserving lives of as many Canaan soldiers as possible, you hold your advance in retaking Reeve. Once he has taken the Canaan Hall, he will order all troops remaining in Reeve to disarm and return to Canaan. Yes! Do that! We don't have to kill Julius! Lady Verna, I'm afraid that's unacceptable. No, shut up, Eugen! The Empire is our enemy, and they continue to occupy our homeland by force. You yourself have said that the princes whose armies are currently stationed in Reeve may not be on Prince Senate's side. But they are! They are! Therefore, he does not have the authority to negotiate a ceasefire on their behalf. We have only your word that Senate will even be capable of taking Canaan. It is simply too big a risk to sit idly by on the Empire's doorstep, waiting for news of whether he succeeds or not. Eugen is right. We cannot stop for Senate. But we will avoid any needless bloodshed with the Imperial Army, if possible. When we attack Reed Palace, we will send messengers asking for their surrender. But if they refuse, we will use our entire strength to reclaim our home. No! This is exactly what Julius thought would happen! And exactly why he's stalling for time! And it's exactly what's happening! And it's understandable! But stop! Stop! I understand. I shall return to the prince's side and convey your feelings, Lord Runin. Hold a moment, Verna. I have a request to ask of you. Could you escort this girl to Prince Senate? She was caught in the, up in the battle earlier, and it seems she's Prince Barker's daughter. Princess Stephanie? What in the world is she doing here? Well, never mind that. Leave her to me. I don't believe she and Prince Senate have ever met, but I'm sure she'll be happy to meet her cousin nonetheless. No! Stop proceeding exactly as Prince Julius sought. Oh. Oh. This isn't good. Even Ernst has fallen. Yes, your highness. The Ravens have breached the southern gate and have begun to capture the city. And still, no word from Barker? No, your highness. What about Stephanie? Any news on her whereabouts? One of the sentries spotted her running in the direction of the enemy, but they were unable to catch her. It seems... has gotten... It seems she has gone to avenge General Barbarossa, as Prince Barker feared. That impulsive girl! Uh, how am I going to explain this to Lord Brother? No! Yeah, there it is! Uh, let me look at my items. You're fine. You're, you, there's, um, yeah, you take that. You need, oh god, you really need weapons. Oh, that's not good. Um, do I have anyone in supply with good weapons? Oh, Roger. Alright, good. Put them back. Alright, you can put them back. Put that back. Put that back. Yeah, all of that. Oh! Chris had a hero crest I could have given to Julia. I didn't... I really should have known my inventory. Wow, I'm kind of angry with myself. But we must soldier on. Where is you? Take a... Steel sword? And then a steel lance? Alright. Let's, let's move up. I don't like this. Uh. 
The chapter's literally named after Julius. Oh. Oh. Uh, map, let's see how it looks. Oh. What's the cane spear do? Oh, activate soul on hit and is one to two range. And he just has soul anyway, because of course he does. Oh my god, he's fucking horrifying. Um, okay. Alright, let's look at who all I can bring in. This all looks- okay, everyone except Hagar. Give me instead Raffin. It really doesn't look like this map is scary outside of Julius himself. But I know better. Something's going to hurt me. Alright, let's save. I uh, wipe the tears from our eyes for Ernst. And let's... Let's battle. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, where's the other... Oh, God, this is another... We're split up at the start kind of map. Ugh. Have you informed the soldiers yet? Yes, Your Highness. They were extremely disappointed, but I persuaded them to follow your wishes. There is still a small contingent of soldiers in the city, but they should be returning to the barracks soon. I don't want them to get involved. Most of them are injured and recovering. With Ernst gone, we haven't got the manpower to hold off the Reven advance. Have you seen yourself? You alone kill my entire army. I made it clear to the stragglers that your highness wants them to make it out alive. I've got one more request for you, Theodora. Will you hear me out? Of course, your highness. Return to Canaan and get a grasp on the situation there. I haven't heard a single piece of news, and I'm worried about my lord. Dr and I'm worried about my lord brother and about Senate's campaign. Yes, your highness. But won't you come with me? You said it yourself. The Ravens have come too far for us to stop them now. Why are you staying behind? You know better than to worry about me. I'm going to be fine, Theodora. Yes, I'm sure, but still. Runin's messenger said that if we surrender the palace, he won't pursue our retreat. Once the remaining soldiers are prepared, I'm going to withdraw to Nolzaria. Is that the truth, your highness? Can I believe your words? Don't make me repeat myself. Your job is to find out what's going on in Canaan, then report back to me. Don't think about anything else. I understand, your highness. Please wait for me at Nolzaria. I will return to you without- I will return to you without fail. Okay! So if I don't do anything... Does he leave? It's so quiet. I don't hear any soldiers around. They may be lying in wait to ambush. We can't get careless. I hope to avoid fighting in the city. I didn't want to involve the citizens. My lord, our messenger just reported back. Prince Julius refuses- Yeah, he was lying to her. We'll have to take it by force. Why don't you understand? He's stalling for time. That's all he's doing. Oh, God. Oh, God. Maybe this house has some goodies to make me feel better. The Imperial Army's got nothing on us. We're as good as the champions of Utona. Of course we are. We're fighting to free Reeve, too. But now those champions are marching in and stealing all the credit from us. They said they, sh they should thank us for softening up the Imperials for them. It's a damn shame. Anyway, that guy for last night barely put up any fight at all. No matter how many times I hit him, he just kept crying for his mommy. I'm telling you, man, these Imperials are a bunch of wusses. So what's that make your total now? I'm up to four. I've only gotten three so far. I didn't realize we were competing, or I'd have killed a few more. What's up with the service here? Don't you people know we're saving your country here? Show us a little respect. And bring out the booze. Don't talk like you're some kind of heroes. You're just a couple of murderers. You're not fighting for anything. You're just preying on the weak. Don't you feel any regret at all? Something's wrong with you. 
Don't act like you can compare that all to what the champions of Utona are doing. You're nothing. What did you say to me? Play it cool, man. Some of those guys from the champions just showed up here. Let's not make a scene. Damn it. I'll remember this. What was that about? Was that just to show that some people around here are ass hats? Which, understandable. Let me see what's in this house. Visit. So, you're the ones calling yourselves the champions of Utona, huh? Well, I don't care why you're here, just try not to cause us any trouble. It doesn't matter to me whether you win or the Empire wins. It won't change a thing. What, were you expecting me to give you something? This ain't a charity, bub. Now hurry up and get out. Oh, fair enough, fair, fair enough. It was presumptuous of me to expect something. Alright. Let me just look around here. Don't put anyone in anyone's attack range. I don't want to hurt anyone. I think that much is made clear. But what is confused... I'm getting mixed signals, and that feels like the point. Don't get me wrong. But... I am not 100% certain as to what the hell is going on. And I don't think I'm supposed to be. Alright. Bilford. Ente. Raffin. Or really? Raffin's gonna be one space away? Of course he is. And you're also gonna be one space away. Amazing. Let's see what the enemies do. Because it seems like the they're trying to run away to the barracks was a real thing. Oh boy. Alright, you lot. We're withdrawing to Nolzaria. That's an order from Prince Julius. Sir, is the prince not coming with us? There have been rumors that he's going to remain alone in the castle. Is that true? We're not supposed to talk about this. But yes, that's his intention. But don't worry, all of his veteran soldiers are staying with him. All the veteran soldiers are exhausted from their last battle. He can't send us away now. We need to stay and help out. You have to survive, live, and serve the Motherland. If you understand His Highness's feelings, then don't die in vain in a place like this. And just let the Prince die in vain? I can't do that. I'm staying right here. Everyone else feels the same way. You fool. But I can't say I don't feel the same. You make me proud, men. May the Goddess forgive us who started this fight. They're not gonna listen to Julius. Yep. I have to fight. Oh, that's painful. Oh, God. Well, I'm going to end this episode here. I'll see you guys next time, where for two chapters in a row, I'm going to cry. Oh, hey, Narita! Before this video ends, I would like to thank all of my patrons for the continued support. They're all lovely people, and I hope you joined the Nintendo Fun Club today! Wait. 